Now in the context of the next bullet which I have put here soil water air interaction most of the time what people have done is they have talked about soil water interaction any example the whole classical geomechanics is based on the concept of soil water interaction yes. you start from hydrometer test atobic limit test consolidation test direct shear test permeability test shear strength test atobic limits. limits everything is soil water interaction okay what has then be added here is soil water air interaction why why air is required to be added here sir air is also fluid and it contains uh, many uh, substances in it which may react directly with soil or it may react with water and uh, have a different effect on soil for example like uh, sulfur uh, 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 attaches with oxygen it uh, forms uh, like sulfur oxygen and hydro uh, sulfur and water uh, sulfur dioxide and water uh, mixes and they form uh, H2SO4 and they react with soil and they contaminate. The best example is Taj Mahal, which has been, uh, uh, which has been corroded by this uh, acid rain. Correct. In how many places in the country ground water is in abundance? Take the example of India only. <coughs> how many places? can you put them can you mark them on the map of the country that these are the places where ground water is in abundance <coughs> or in other words do you think that uh, ground water is scarce it's not scarce like they you have it has been like there is a decrease of the ground water sources okay recently like uh, all right so it's becoming scarce it's day becoming by day scarce, yes. all right now the classical concepts of geomechanics are you always saturate samples to get some property hydraulic conductivity how did you do the test compact the sample in the mold allow it to saturate overnight or 72 hours 48 hours and so on and then do the test triaxial test saturate the sample then find out the shear strength consolidation test saturate the sample find out the character what is the meaning of this these are the situations which you are simulating are practically not feasible why i asked you the question how many places in the country have enough water in other words how many locations in the country have water tables which are going to saturate the entire soil mass which lies in the zone of interest of an engineer you agree with this somewhere water table will be 300 feet deep somewhere it will be 400 feet deep somewhere it will not exist somewhere it will be 100 feet deep what i'm trying to convey here is in a deceptive way is the classical geomechanics type of situation where you saturated the sample to find out its property are very very rare in nature but what do you do you get the properties in the laboratory by simulating a condition which is non existent clear in other words most of these soils deposits are having three phases they have air also they have water also and they have solids also and that is where you have to study the interaction of solid phase water phase and the air phase if you want to understand this material in a better way and then slowly and slowly you add the concept of contamination on all the three phases so you were talking about the solid phase liquid phase and gaseous phase in a another word another form soils may get contaminated with a solid phase liquid phase or gaseous phase similarly water may get contaminated with solid phase liquid phase or gaseous phase similarly air may have of course it will not have solid phases but it may have suspensions it may have you know liquid phase of some other material in the air form or the vapor form and so on so once you put this system i think it must be now clear that where the technology is leading to when you study soil technology 
what we are trying to do is we are trying to go much more into the intricacies of the interaction between different phases of the system and it is always futuristic. That means what you have been doing, what you know till date, you are going to add on to the present day knowledge. Okay, let us see further shrinkage. People have already studied a lot this phenomena. We will try to revisit shrinkage and the mechanisms, swelling and cracking characteristics of soil. These are the issues which require lot of attention of uh, geotechnical engineers and civil engineers. Hydraulic conductivity and mass transport phenomena. Another way of saying mass trans contaminant transport is basically mass transport. Hydraulic conductivity is simple passage of water through the soil mass and mass transport phenomena would be when we talk about contaminants passing through it, heat passing through it, electrical current passing through it and so on. Now, incidentally if you know these properties, you may develop new models to understand the behavior of the soil mass or the rocks. Thermal and electrical properties of the soils, where would you require thermal properties of the soils? to be incorporated in the model. Can you give any idea why it is so important? Sir, uh, study uh, the soil uh, water interaction or soil material interaction we can uh, use the electrical, you should, you can use the electrical properties of soil. Sorry? Uh, to study the interaction of soil with the uh, another uh, Any other simplest possible situation which you may come across every day? See what is the difference in designing the foundations for a simple residential building and the buildings which are going to have some industrial units. And to complicate the problem further, if I say that this industry happens to be a forging unit, all right, forging units or where the furnaces are there, what would be the difference in the foundation of a residential building and the buildings which are going to house these type of facilities? Maybe power supply cables that might be in, in, in the soil, they might be buried in the soil. So, whenever there is current passing, Good. properties that is one of the examples that is right. Yes, so because of this, thermal cracking may take place. Any other example, the question which was I asked, which I was asking you? So, if you have forges or if you have furnaces for which you are going to, or let us say underground storage of nuclear waste, radioactive waste or let us say hazardous waste at elevated temperature and so on. What should be the difference in the foundation and the type of properties of soils which are required? Now, this is where the thermal effects are going to come on the system. Please understand one thing, till now you have studied only the response of mechanical loading on the soil mass. You have never bothered about the loading in the form of excessive heat, thermal gradients, how soil is going to behave, clear and so on. So, this is where actually in this type of problem as she says rightly, buried pipelines, cables, conduits, refrigeration systems, forges, hammers, ovens, furnaces, you know designing these foundations plus in nuclear waste, hazardous waste the waste which are at very high or elevated temperatures, you have to understand the interaction between heat and geomaterial and contaminant. This is what you have been asking, it is a good example of how environmental conditions will 
augment or change the interaction properties between different attributes. Electrical properties as some of you answered yes, I think you are quite close that uh, electrical properties because of surface charges, passing of current, earthing of electrical uti utilities. This is where actually you are required to study electrical properties. These are some new concepts which we are talking about. Apart from all this, do you get some idea or hints where these properties can be used? Well, I will answer this question. These properties are being used for modeling purpose. Just to give you an example, if you are talking about soil water air interaction and if you are going to do your conventional hydraulic conductivity test where you are saturating sample or the water is seeping through the soil mass, what happens to this air component? There is no air component. That means truly speaking by doing conventional test, you cannot capture the response of a system in three phase. Clear? And this is where you have to use some external amount of energy or external type of energy to model how hydraulic conductivity phenomena can be studied, can be understood and so on. Now this is where actually if you pass current through the soil mass, you must have done in your undergraduate some experiments. You have that teledestress paper, you cut out the retaining sorry your sheet pile or a dime and then by using copper sulphate solution you can pass the current through this teledestress paper and you can draw the flow lines and equipotential lines. I hope you must have done this experiment. This is one of the ways how electrical analogy can be used to define the porous media properties clear. In a slightly complicated way, if I know the electrical properties and thermal properties of the soil mass, I can model its property and its behavior in a better way, keeping all these three phases intact. Now, did you ask a question to yourself ever when you were doing hydraulic conductivity test? By mistake, if you leave the samples, let us say for few months in the permeometer, what is going to happen? why you should do this test only for 72 hours. There is no interaction in nature which is limited to only 72 hours. You agree? Then why should I simulate a condition for 72 hours interaction only in the laboratory? So, <laughs> these are the typical questions actually which are coming in the minds of the researchers. You agree? So, how to get the answers? Because no interaction is limited to 72 hours or 24 days or whatever or 28 days of curing of concrete and all. Once the structure is existing in the environment, it is going to be there for ever, at least for 25 years, 50 years. And in a climate like Bombay, what you did not like about IIT Bombay? The first site, you go to IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi or some other place you may like to see something which you are not finding in IIT Bombay, the quality of the building. Why? The environment is so aggressive here, why it is so aggressive? Sea shore, what is in the air? Humidity, humidity carries what? Not sulphur, <laughs> chlorides and these chlorides keep on penetrating into the concrete what happens? The average life of building here is hardly 7 years, 10 years, 12 years at the most. This is what is known as chloride impregnation in concrete on which lot of research is being done. So, these are modeling tools. These are the philosophies by which you can understand how a system is behaving. And of course, the radiation effects on soil. India is becoming a superpower in terms of atomic energy. But believe me, we do not have people who can handle the issues which are being asked or questioned by the atomic energy. Why? Our civil engineers are not trained for dealing with the challenges associated with radiation effects on soils. So, this is the need of the hour where you should have all these things 
well, the entire course cannot be limited to only this, but of course, these are the few major I would say topics or subtopics which have to be included in this type of a scenario, existing scenario. Anything else which you like to add here? Having studied all this, you were talking about Jen, the application part. So, the whole idea is you study everything, but then ultimately you have to apply it somewhere. So, whatever research or whatever concepts you are revisiting or you are evolving, they have to be applied in some form. So, what are the applications of these concepts? Unfortunately, the course may not be in a very systematic or a organized manner, you may find it. But on and off, I will be giving you examples which are related to these topics. And again, as I said, that this subject is in a very nascent stage. Frankly speaking, even I do not know many things myself, and I am trying to get the answers from my students like Seema, Suchet, and Kunal, who are working on different problems and giving me answers and, and educating me every day. But of course, it is a learning procedure, this process goes on and on 